and shit, so I don't have to like record a video. Um, since I'm like already streaming. So boom. Basically, bro, what y'all are gonna do is you're gonna get this folder um when you buy the pack, if you buy the pack. Um, and it's gonna include the PNGs for people who don't know how to use PSD files. Um so what you're gonna easily do is you're just gonna go in here to PSD files and open up the chucker PSD. Um and it's gonna open up like this. You can take off the background if you'd like, just to have it like a blank PNG. Um, if you want to put it on like black or on your website, or whatever. Um, boom. And so you'll take your artwork. So I'll go on here. I'll go to a mock, pull up a design. Let's see. I'll go. I'll go with this one just, just, to, just to show y'all. So this is what it'll look like. Um, I'll just readjust my, my design to fit right here. Boom. And there you have it. Um, I can change the color. If I want to go orange, I can go orange. If I want to match that red, I can go with that red and have it look like this. Um, if I wanted to do like the side of the hat, right? I'd, oh, I'm sorry. I'd turn off. Wait, where is it? Yeah. Oh, wait. No, I'm not sure. Oh, front. I'm sorry. So, yeah, I'd turn off the front. If I wanted to go side, I'd go side. Um, and if I wanted to go to the back, I'd go back. Um, if I want to go overhead, like an overhead view, I'd go down here and it'd be the same thing. I just place in my design. So let's say I go like this. I'd go in here, put it right here. And you see, like it, it goes over this crease right here as well. So if I wanted to do something like this. I could just do this. Um, if I wanted to do an overhead view, side view, back view, whatever. Um, you know what I mean? So, yeah, if you're in a stream right now, I'm going to give both these packs away in a second i just wanted to demonstrate what it looks like um it's not a font this was a custom design logo but basically this is all the things you could do with the pack at least with this pack um so you got the front you got the side view you got the back view and you have the overhead view um and again this is a fully customizable psd file you can change the color so let's say i want to go Looking, I don't even know what color you want to go gray, black. I think this is like turquoise. I don't know like what color that is. Um, green, you got dark green, whatever color you want to create, you can create with this PSD file. Um, it's going to be on my website, creambastudios.shop. I'm going to give this stuff away to everybody in the Twitch right now. I'm clipping this just so that I can put it on Instagram so people can know how to use it. Um, and I also want to put this on the YouTube so give people a quick tutorial of how it works um so yeah basically it's a fully customizable psd it's in the um zip file when you download it from my website and just open it up put your design in the art file right here you got your colors here you change your color um you can decide which view you want i just go front just because um, i don't think many people put something on the back so i've also included the embroidery action in the in the file so if you go to the trucker hats pack and you go into psd files there's embroidery action um that i got from somebody else but there's instructions on how to use it so basically if you follow these instructions you can turn your logo into look like it's actually embroidered um without having to get a sample done or whatever it's super fire i've included it in the pack as well so if you get the pack you get the embroidery action you get the uh png files and you get the psd file for the trucker hats so if you go ahead and grab that, there's 23, there's 23 total um, PNGs, which are just like random PNG of uh, random colors that I felt like y'all would like um, front views of them, like light blue, things like that. Just in case you don't know how to work a PSD file, um, you can just throw this on like your, you can even do this on your Instagram, like literally on your phone, you can create a mock-up. Um, and I think I'll do a tutorial on how to do a mock-up on your phone someday one of these days if i get the chance but that's how you do it can you demonstrate the embroidery action i can demonstrate the embroidery action um i'll do that for y'all real quick i don't want to spend too much time on it but basically i'll start a new file um the only problem with the embroidery action is you have to do it each separate for each layer so um you're best working with a one color design or if you have your design separated by color that's cool so i'll grab something that's one color um that's pretty simple to do so i do something like i'll take something like i don't want to do anything too crazy. actually i'll do something like this because i think we've done this on a trucker hat before so i take this boom 
Um, so most people don't know, you'd go up to Windows, right? And you'd click on Actions, so your Actions bar comes up. Um, and these are basically like actions that you have that will allow you to do things that somebody else has already created, but you just press play essentially. Um, so basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna click, oh, I'm sorry, you're gonna click over here and you're going to see, it should say import. Um, yeah, load actions. Um, so I'm gonna go into here. I'm gonna go to my trucker hat pack, PSD files, embroidery action. And you see, I have the embroidery action here. Um, the, so you'll just click load and it should pop up here. You can close this for now. Um, and another thing you're going to do is you can go into here where your trucker hat pack is already again. Um, and you're going to need to install the, the brushes, um, which if you double click, it'll insert them into Photoshop already. And you want to double click the patterns. So the pattern will be like the texture that it uses to make it look embroidered. Um, and the brush I've never used. I'm not sure exactly how it works. Um, but yeah, and it's also a help guide, um, a PDF help guide that you can pull up and it'll break it down exactly how you can use it. Um, detail for detail. So obviously if what I'm teaching you guys doesn't work, it's in the pack as well. So you can just go ahead and follow the installation, how to use this action. Um, it teaches you how to do it for each color. If you want to outline on certain parts of it, some things I don't know how to use fully of it um, is available in that PDF file. So you can go ahead and use that shit and show that. that. Um, but basically, I'd take this, um, I'd go like, I'd go medium, I believe is what I'd use. I'd click play. Um, and once you click play, it'll pro process or progress, whatever it'll, you see all that's going on here. As you can see, um, it's created an embroidered action. Um, this, I didn't go into full detail cause I don't really like it to take me too much time to like make it perfect, but this is a rough draft of what your design could look like. You can take off the background. Um, you can change the color to the design, but as you can see, it looks embroidered. It hasn't, I haven't done all the details that you can do with the action, but, um, yeah, it just gives it that 3d effect, the lining, like it's embroidered and things like that. You can change the color to like black, purple, green, whatever you want. You can make it more detailed. You can do more than one color. Um, yeah. So I just wanted to demonstrate that for y'all real quick. And then, so you take something like this. Um, I take something like this. Quick export is PNG. Throw it on my desktop. All right, I don't wanna. Uh, fuck on my file. And so I'll go back to front. I'll go here. I'll go back to my desktop. I'll grab this design, and I'll put this on the hat. Um, I'll remove this. I don't know what color would look good with this color. Um, but. Let me see if like black could be cool or whatever. I don't even know what color goes well with this color, but basically it looks something like this. Um, if you do it more detail with the action, um, it'll look a lot smoother, but this essentially is the embroidery action. Um, and you can use this embroidery action if you want to use it on just a t-shirt, if you want to use it on um, a hat, a beanie, a a scully a whatever you can use the embroidery action for whatever i just feel like most people use the embroidery action for um hats and things like that that's why i included it in that pack but i'll also give out the embroidery action just for free um i'll put out the embroidery if you just want the embroidery action and not the hats i'll put out the embroidery action for free on my website today as well but um yeah it comes with the hat pack just because i feel like people want to make them with hats um, so that's the, that's how you use the trigger hat.